Hello there, Jose Rodriguez once again. I want to talk a little bit about the differences between dye prints and pigment prints. Any dye print will eventually fade. Now whether it does at a slow rate or at a quick rate depends on your conditions by which the prints are being displayed. If you have unprotected prints on the wall, they are going to fade. If they are coated or stored under glass or displayed under glass, they will last a very long time. If you print on canvas like I did with my Pro 100 and I stated at the end I believe that I was going to overcoat that print with a UV protectant spray, that print will then last. That canvas print will last. If I do not coat it, it's just not going to last. It's going to be affected by UV by regular lights from your fluorescent tubes if you have them in your house, uh, ozone by pollutants from the air, and that is just a sad fact. Dye prints look wonderful, but they will fade, and so even when Canon says Chroma Life uh, 100, I think it is, that 100 does not mean years. It means nothing. They kind of, in the small print, will tell you that this only applies if you store your prints properly. So just a little hint to you guys that want to use dye inks versus pigment. If you're going to sell, go with pigment. It just lasts longer and you will not have any problems with your customers coming back to you that their prints have faded because you just cannot control how they are going to display those prints they buy from you. Put them in an album, yeah, they'll last forever practically. And uh, I have prints in boxes that I display to you guys a lot of my show and tell videos that I did a while back and they are pristine. Why? They're in boxes. They're, they only see daylight when I take them out of those boxes. If I'm going to have one outside of the box for a number of months then I have to basically either coat it or put it under glass. These prints that I have on my wall you cannot see right now but you may have seen them in other videos have been printed with a pigment printer. Now the Canon Pro 100 of course has the sister printers, the Pro 10 and the Pro 1. Those are pigment printers and that's why Canon kind of knew that. So they're putting out a printer that produces wonderful prints, very colorful, very bright due to the transparent properties of the dye inks. But they know that they will fade so that's why they offer these Pro 10s and Pro 1s for that matter. And so I don't want you guys to feel that you know you have been by the company that your prints don't have the longevity that they or you believe they should have. They're made out of dye inks and dye inks are mostly organic or even synthetic and none of those inks are immune to the attacks of light and pollutants in the air and oxidants like ozone. And ozone exists everywhere. If you have a refrigerator you have ozone in your house. If you have uh, central air conditioning, you have ozone in your house, and so on. So that's, that's it. I just wanted to bring that up in case any of you may have had a bad experience with some dye ink prints. So now I'm just going to go ahead and leave. I'm, I have to go to a doctor's appointment with my wife. Should be uh, okay. This is cardiologist, and so we're going to maybe go grab some grub on the way back and then uh, tonight I will go ahead and start messing around with some of these carts that I have here. I have a lot to do and a lot to plan for the next series of videos that I will be doing. So I want to thank you guys once again for all of your support and until the next time happy printing and bye bye.